Amnesia, and in today's video, I will be reacting to going to episode one of The Millionaire Detective. Okay, so I have literally everybody on Twitter <laughs> is thirsty for this fucking man. I am also thirsty for this fucking man as well. I mean... Oh, God. I mean, okay. Like, y'all know how bad I was with fucking Gilgamesh. And some of you may know how bad I really was with Archer when I did my reaction of Fate, <laughs> UBW, even though you can't see that anymore. But looking at the movies, even though I had to wait like a fucking hour to see him. Yeah. I mean, but it's going to be worse. <laughs> okay. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started for episode one in three... Two, one, go. So, because I am so thirsty, I brought water. <laughs> Let me stop. Are so fucking. <laughs> His voice is really good. Like, oh. I should know you're cute too. Everybody in this damn, like, all the males. And oh um, my. Like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> The fact that fucking Mama were like blazing, I'm like, oh, I can't. Can I have champagne, please? Like, oh, it'd be so much better than water. I'm just saying. <laughs> Well, kind of everyone else seems busy or eating. Just look at him. <sighs> Why are you so fine? Like, oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so thirsty. Oh god, I can't. I love him so fucking much. And he's so fucking gorgeous and hot as fuck. And I just... The song is so fucking good. Like, oh. Um, I need Apple Music to like get their shit together and put this damn song <laughs> on Apple Music. Like, I need this song. It's so fucking good. Uh. Uh. 
you know what? Let me say something real quick. Why do I feel like the woman with the knife, whoever she may be, she might be like the Irene Adler or the female Fatel. Did I say that right? Um, of the series when we meet her. And besides, the woman with the knife could be anyone. Oh, damn, Mario. Mm. <laughs> I like her hair. Seeing these cars reminds me when I was like, I think in middle school, and I went to a car show with my dad and my mom. I wasn't really, at the time, like, I wasn't really into cars. Like, now I'm really into cars, but, like, not as much as a, like, a young teen. Oh, it's kind of like a catchy in a weird way. If a catchy was good and not bad. <laughs> I mean, and, like, he is jacked up. Like, he will literally kick your ass. Ashton, fucker. <laughs> well, too late. He's already in this. Yeah, but don't you think, like, kicking an old man's ass is, like, really bad? You don't want to be known as that person who kicks an old man's ass, right? I'm just saying. I mean, but still, you should have canceled it. I've never met anybody who smoked cigars before. I don't even know what they fucking smell like, but like, <laughs> let me not. I'm you know I'm about to get like R rated up in this bitch. Oh. 
maybe towards the end I'll get a little R-rated. <laughs> But you're a store, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, you could steal chocolate. You got anything else? Poor Yoko. <laughs> Uh. Really, you should be dying that quick. Ass. She's probably about to cry over you. Okay, let me just say something real quick. I know it's a fucking car show, but y'all going like five miles an hour. Y'all can at least go, oh my god, at least ten? I get the fact that you don't want to hit pedestrians. <sighs> the plot is just so fucking good. They knew exactly what they was doing when they fucking animated the show. Well, shit, can't do that now. They all on your ass. That right there, that is Grand Theft Auto in a nutshell. <laughs> It's really nice costume. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the thing is, y'all don't know y'all have a bomb in there. And just keep going. It's okay. I mean, she's not like, like driving the damn thing like she's so weird, but.
You would think that, oh, okay, hold up. Mm -mm, let's just talk about this. Their fucking thing, like, not only the light, but the alarm is going off. No one ain't want to move? Bruh. Shit, look at that traffic. Hmm? And just, oh, I can't. The fucking car. <laughs> Oh, no, don't be sorry. You didn't need to use your money on another girl and then you now have to deal with this shit and stuff. Oh. He's so sweet. Hmm? <laughs> right. <laughs> Figures that would happen. Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> this dude is so fucking worse than the Joker. <laughs> When he dipped fucking heartily in the <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? You can't <laughs> trust a man like you. He ain't, okay, hold on. He's not dead. I mean, who the fuck would kill their kid like a main character in episode one? <laughs> fuck you, you know? I wouldn't take your ass back. No. Yeah, but you left her. Oh, you know. <sighs> this man is a simp. I mean, it's okay. I'm fine with that. But he is whipped. <laughs> like, oh my god. Well, at least you're okay. So, you gonna help him out?
<laughs> then Daisuke, like, pay that shit off. Well, cops are different. Cops want to do whatever the fuck they want to do, you know? There's a lot of fucking money. Like, cool. Okay. So, first thoughts on this. Like, um, number one, literally, Daisuke reminds me of almost, like, every high billionaire in movies. Um, Tony Stark. We'll be counting James Bond. He gets me James Bond sales. Any really guy. He also reminds me. He is a little arrogant, but that's okay. I think that's hot. Everything about him is fucking hot, and I fucking want him, like, right the fuck now. I mean, this boy has been trending all fucking day. I mean, he's almost at 100k tweets. So, there's something about this man that we fucking love. But he reminds me of, um, I never truly watched this show. This show used to air on CBS for, like, one season. For, so, like, 13 episodes. It's called Golden Boy. And in this show, it's a guy who is a cop, obviously, and he solves mysteries and shit like that. And he's very arrogant, and he, I think he has a lot of money. I'm not really sure, because like I said, I've never truly seen the show, but I might watch it to just watch it. All I know is that the show got canceled, and the actor who was in it was in the Divergent series, so that's really all I know about that. Haru is adorable. I fucking love him as well. I mean, look at him. He is so cute, and the fact that he's played by fucking Mamoru, like, one of my other favorite male voice actors, like, that's a fucking plus for my ass, like, no matter what, but, like, the thirst, the, like, next ten weeks, um, I'm gonna enjoy this, like, I mean, it, like I said, how I felt when I've seen, uh, the 21 episodes of, uh, Fate Grand Order Babylonia with my husband, Doe watching Fate with Archer, watching Shield Hero all the way for an alchemy, Bunny Girl Senpai, anything that I've done in the past to, like, I, I mean, like, we can just scratch that. Anything that I've watched from the time that I was fucking born and when I fell in love with the first anime that I watched, which was Pokemon, Saving Me, Gigi, or whatever, and falling in love with Tuxedo fucking Mash, just like everybody else, or freaking Ash Ketchum. I don't really know anybody else who probably fell in love with Ash Ketchum, so I might be the only girl in the world who fell in love with Ash Ketchum when I was a kid. Uh, Yami Yugi and Yu-Gi-Oh! Just falling in love with, like, so many anime boys slash men. And just, like, the maturity that Daisuke has. Like, oh my god. Like, this man... This man by, might be my new number one. Like, I mean... I can't. Like, the things that he does, and it's only episode one, and I, want, I have so many questions, especially about the stuff that he talked about in the first few minutes of it, and ha his childhood. I want to know a little bit more about his childhood. I want to know more um, about his mother, his father, and Ish, because it makes you wonder, was he always like this? This is a kid, or, well, a sexy-ass man that I would love to do some things to. <laughs> um... It just makes you wonder, like, at the end of the day, how did someone like this, how was he raised? That's the biggest thing. I mean, he his parents must have always been rich, so I think he's always had things handed to him. He's like an it boy, um, the heartthrob that every girl literally wants to throw their underwear at because <laughs> he's fine as fuck. Well, my baby Haru is just like a precious thing and you just want to like cuddle him and shit like that. I know there are some people who do ship these two together. 
but and then I've also heard people are fighting over either one. I'm like, fuck it, like let's just take both. Like, yes, I mean Dice Gay, I mean oof, like that man is fine. And yes, Haru is adorable as fuck, but like at the end of the day, like give me just so ooh, like everything I fucking need right now in a man. <laughs> like the thirst is fucking real with this show and I fucking love it and it's gonna be such a, a really good experience to sit here and watch this with you guys every single week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode one of The Millionaire Detective. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matching Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode two. Bye, guys.